found on mopeds might seem like a pupil's dream, but a handful of schools in the region are offering the course, and they insist it's not an easy option. Our education correspondent Dave Guest reports. It's the time for sweating over GCSEs in stuffy exam halls. But at Ivybank High in Burnley, there is at least one GCSE subject which gets you out and about in the fresh air. Gareth Barton and Lisa O'Callaghan are among those who've just taken a GCSE in moped riding. Well, actually, it's called road traffic studies. It looked good and fun, but it's been harder than what I thought it would have been. In what way? Well, we had to do three exams. There's moped exam, there's GCSE written exam, and there's coursework. Now, kick-start the machine, and a four for the start. Well done. The latest batch of recruits to the course are starting their initial training. But their head teacher says it isn't an easy option. I think that it's too easy to focus on the practical aspects of it and think of it simply as a course which is about practical moped riding. There's a very substantial theory element as well which involves the law as it affects road users and basic elements of motor vehicle engineering. So it's a fairly tough course. They enjoy the course, they get a lot out of it as they prepare for GCSE, but it develops a sense of social responsibility and it makes them aware of their obligations to other members of the public. And now it's test time, so called. Can you please tell me what this is? The connecting rod. Certainly there is classroom work to be done. The theory element is considered just as important as the practical. John Clark, a motorcycle training officer with Lancashire County Council, acts as a moderator for the exam board. So, what's he looking for? Confidence, uh, competency, in, in all aspects, uh, right from their initial uh, approach to the machine, uh, the, the, the daily checks, and, and moving off. Well, the courses here at Ivy Bank High School are always well oversubscribed. After all, how many GCSE exams are there where you're not confined to a sweaty exam hall, but instead you can get to feel the wind in your face and that tremendous sense of freedom? Dave Guest, Northwest Tonight, Burnley. I expect to be coming to work on that.